So on Sunday, a few days ago, we went to the rice fields at the lab and it was really, really fun. And I wore these high-waisted mom jeans because they weren't the cool kind of high-waisted where it's like, oh, you're so cool. It's kind of like, oh, those are from the 1980s. Ugh. Uh, <laughs> anyways, I had to wear those because I didn't have any pants here. And in the rice fields, there are a lot of weeds that are close to the ground and cut your ankles. I didn't want that, so I bought those pair of jeans for 500 yen, which is a good deal. About $5. And then we went there and spent a whole day fishing for crayfish. And the crayfish are kind of like a mix between a lobster and a shrimp. And... We used like a bamboo stick that was like, if the table is the ground, it was like that tall, uh, like five feet tall, and it just had a string on it as the fishing pole to use and fish the crayfish. And we just tied a little bit of dried shrimp, I think, on the end of it, and then put it into the rice fields and like moved it around a little bit to get the scent everywhere and then the crayfish came up and would clamp onto it with their little claw and then start eating it and the thing is is that if you were to pull it up to pull the fishing pole up they would either like still hang on to it and be like ah oh, what's happening or they would just let go and I spent like five minutes trying to get this one really big guy because he kept like whenever I pull it up he kept going ah I'm not gonna stay on because I'm so freaking cool. So I I finally got him. I did get him. And uh, we put him into these buckets. And so by the time it finished, I had like 20 crayfish in my bucket, three from actually fishing them, and then the other 17 from the traps. And the traps are like these metal cylinders that this is the end. It kind of went like this. To like a really narrow point and then the crayfish would crawl in there and then they couldn't get back out again because the point was so narrow and it was difficult to find and there was a little bit of food in there in the traps that they would try and go and eat and we would just unzip the traps and collect all the crayfish put them into the bucket and we didn't actually kill any which was nice we were going to sell them to or give them to some people I don't know what they were going to do maybe eat them but we didn't have to kill them which was nice and after we did the crayfish stuff, we kind of waited around until a whole bunch of little uh, Japanese kids came and learned about the ecology of the rice field, what kind of bugs live in there, what kind of plants live in there besides rice, the general thing. And I was excited because I was like, oh, rice fields, they're Japanese and I want to learn about Japan. Until I realized that it was in Japanese and I don't speak Japanese. I don't know why I thought it would be in English. Yeah, so I just tried to look at the pictures in the lecture, but it was a screen that was far away and I didn't have my glasses on so I couldn't see it. So I didn't learn too much, but that's okay. That's okay because while we were waiting for that to start, uh, me and a guy named Roman, who's from Nicaragua and is 27, I think, we were hanging out because he lived in Texas for his elementary and middle school. So he speaks perfect English, which is nice because a lot of people here don't. So he and I were walking around the rice field area and I was like, oh look, there's a plant called Arabanki, which is a parasitic plant. So what it does is it has this little thing, this little like needle type thing that goes into its host plant and goes and stabs into the xylem so that it can get the water and the nutrients that the plant has collected through its xylem and then it can grow and it's great. And then uh, and then he was like, oh, that's cool. And then we kept talking about other things. And then a few hours later, he was like trying to walk through uh, the field area that we were setting up the chairs in for the kids. And this pile of hay like trapped his foot and like caught his foot. And he was kind of like tripping a little bit. And I was like, oh, you better watch out. It's trying to penetrate your xylem, if you know what I mean. It was really funny because it was like a sexual joke but not because plants. Yeah, it was a good day. And then I had a, I got a really bad stomach ache there and I had really bad stomach cramps. And then we got home at 11.20 back to the university and I waited until 10.30 for my host mom to come 
and I was just out on the street for like 10 minutes in the dark in these terrible looking jeans and a tank top and a hat that had an American flag on it. It's a good day. Yeah, good day.